guys and welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will be discussing about the design of surge tanks hydraulic design not the structural one so this is where surge tank is placed and these are the some site images of the construction of the surge tank now let us go through the theoretical portion of surge tank surge tank is a chamber uh, located uh, between almost horizontal or uh, inclined conduit or also known as a tunnel and a steeply sloping penstock primarily with the purpose of protecting the long pressure conduit that is tunnel from the high water hammer effect water hammer effect is generally a fluctuation in pressure and penstock pipe also basically the uh, basically there is fluctuation in demand of load that is acceptance and rejection in turbine okay hence water has or water ammer effect is caused due to the fluctuation of demand let me make you clear so this is the reservoir and the water from the reservoir reaches to pay powerhouse through this tunnel and penstock and finally to the powerhouse where the turbine is placed now due to the fluctuation in the load okay the water required in the turbine will be also different and this change has to be adjusted so that the tunnel does not burst out and for this the surge tank helps to adjust this fluctuation as a upsurge and downsurge i will discuss this term in the uh, design procedure uh, a surge tank is a cylindrical in section okay now let us go to the design process so firstly the height of surge tank okay and as i said it is governed by the upsurge and downsurge okay that is the fluctuation of water in the surge tank and this also depends upon the fluctuation of load basic equation or we can say formula the very first formula we have to consider is the velocity in penstock vp and it is calculated as qd divided by ap qd is the design discharge in penstock and ap is the area of penstock velocity in tunnel v t is equal to q d divided by a t that is the design discharge divided by area of tunnel third mm, okay head loss in tunnel okay this is the frictional head loss is equal to f into l v t square by 2 into z into d t so this is from uh, the fluid mechanics okay simply this is uh, head loss in the conduit frictional head loss where f is the coefficient of friction l is the length of conduit velocity v is the velocity in the conduit and dt is the dimension of the conduit similarly head loss in penstock we have fl v t p square by 2 g dp and this can be represented as hft and this can be represented as hfp step number four gross head okay this is represented as h and this is the difference between the level of the water at reservoir and the tail race okay similarly net head this is equal to gross head minus the frictional head loss hft minus hfp step six or number six equation is the area of surge tank as and this is v 
p square by 2 into g ok. So, this is v t into l t a t by h f t into h minus h f p and multiply this with factor of safety ok. So, we get a s that is the area of surge strength for maximum surge we have z max is equal to q into under root l by a t into a s into g let's do a numerical design a surge tank for the given data okay so this is the reservoir and the rl is 500 meter and this is the powerhouse and the rl at the tail race is 200 meter solution give uh, the very first thing we will calculate here is gross head that is h is equal to 500 minus 200 and this comes as 300 meter here area of surge tank a s is equal to what as i have already discussed in the introduction part we have to find these various terms let's go in sequence velocity in tunnel vt is equal to q d by a t that is design discharge and it is given as 87 and pi by 4 into d square that is 80 square ok all things are given this comes as 1.73 meter per second for pen stock there are four number of pen stock so q discharge will be divided into four number of pen stock so q d by 4 87 by 4 and it comes as 21.9 meter cube per second per pen stock ok so velocity in each pen stock bp is equal to design discharge of of each pen stock q d dash so 20.09 21.9 divided by pi by 4 into diameter that is 2 square so this comes as 6.923 meter per second we have calculated the velocity in tunnel similarly velocity in pen stock now let us uh, calculate the frictional head loss so friction loss in tunnel we have the formula and let us represent hft flv square by 2g into dt now substitute the value coefficient of friction 0 0.028 length of tunnel 4 kilometers or converting into a meter 4000 and similarly velocity of tunnel 1.73 square divided by 2 into g 9.81 into dt we have 8 meter so we get as this value that is the frictional head loss in tunnel 2.14 meter similarly frictional head loss in twin stock hfp is equal to flbp square by 2 gdp so friction in this we have different that is 0 0.016 into length 500 into velocity that is 6.923 square divided by 2 into g 9.81 into dp diameter of pen stock 2 meter so we get this value that is the frictional head loss in pen stock as 9.77 meter net head that is h naught is equal to gross head minus the frictional head loss so 500 sorry 300 minus 9.77 minus 2.14 okay frictional head loss in pen stock and frictional head loss in tunnel 288.1 meter now let us find the area of surge tank area of surge tank as is equal to fos that is factor of safety into v square by 2 g lt at by hf h minus hfp okay let us substitute the value so this is vt square velocity of tunnel okay velocity in tunnel 
1.5 times okay factor of safety 1.5 1.73 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into LT which is the length of tunnel we are provided as 4 kilometer converting into how, uh, meter 4000 into 80 that is the area of tunnel pi by 4 into d square dt square hf 2.14 and h net head 288.1 okay because h minus hfp is the net head and the area of search should be greater or equal to 74.7 meter square now for cylindrical search tank basically we are about to calculate the diameter of the search tank okay so as is equal to pi d square by 4 d is equal to 9.47 meter okay on solving we can get this value so the diameter of search tank is equal to 10 meter for height of the search tank as i have already said the height of the surge tank depends upon the up surge and down surge okay and up surge and down surge is nothing but it is the fluctuation of water level in the surge tank due to the rejection and acceptance of the water in the turbine maximum up surge and we have a formula for this z up similarly maximum down surge z down is equal to what and for the height of the surge tank, a free board should be added. We will do that later on. We have Z max is equal to QD. I have already discussed in the introduction part. AS into AST. Now substitute the value. Q discharge is 87. 4000 divided by G 9.81 into AS. Area of surge tank. Pi by 10 is square by 4. Okay, It will not be the same because we are providing our greater size of diameter. Pi by 8 is square by 4. So we get this value as 27.95 meter Z max. Now we have to find Z observed. So for which we have this formula Z observed by Z max is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 K naught plus 1 by 9 K naught square. Now, K0 is a constant as calculated as a ratio of HFT by Z max. Substitute the value which is 2.14 divided by 27.95. This value comes as 0.075. Then, Z of surge into is equal to Z max into 1 minus 2 by 3 into K0. So, this is K0 square. 0.075 plus 1 by 9 into 0.075 square. Now substitute the value of Z max which is 27.95 and finally we get Z of surge is equal to 29.39 meter. Similarly, Z down surge by Z max is equal to minus 1 plus 2 by minus 1 plus 2 K naught. Finally we get Z down surge as minus 23.67 meter. Okay, now let us see in the figure. This is Z up surge and this is Z down surge. Okay, this is for the design of a surge tank. In some cases, we may be asked about the time of oscillation uh, surge at a certain time, similarly, invert level. So, I will be discussing about this. Uh, things in this video but this is not included in the design procedure the oscillation of the wave in the surge tank is in the form of sine wave okay so let me draw a sine wave with respect to time and surge the wave dissipates its energy with respect to time that is the surge decreases with respect to time and this is z okay this will be the maximum surge z max and the negative uh, surge represents the down surge so i am interested to find time of oscillation t and for which t is equal to two pi under root this is a formula just understand this two pi into l into as by g a t okay l t 
t it is so 2 pi lt which is 4000 and area of search tank pi by 4 into 10 square divided by g that is 9.81 and 80 is equal to pi by 4 into 8 square for the tunnel we have 8 meter diameter so this comes as 158.59 seconds so this is the time of oscillation and also for t is equal to 100 second that is this is a question okay if the time we consider as 100 second what is the surge height z 100 okay surge at 100 second is equal to v naught l a t by g a s into sin 2 pi by t by t v naught this is the velocity for tunnel which is 1.73 L is the length of tunnel 4080 area of tunnel which comes as pi by 4 into 8 square G that is 9.81 into pi by 4 into 10 square sine 2 pi divided into 10 by 158.59 time considered to the time of oscillation minus 20.44 meters so it will be a down surge at 100 second remember as I have said, there is a fluctuation in demand that is acceptance and rejection in turbine. So that determines the value for upsurge and downsurge. Okay. So note this point. If there is 100% rejection, maximum upsurge that is no downsurge. For 100% acceptance, maximum downsurge occurs see here if there is 100% acceptance there will be maximum downsurge or the water level at surge comes at the lowest level if there is 100% acceptance now another point is invert level so what is invert level it is the base interior level of a pipe trench or tunnel it can be considered as a floor level and the invert is an important datum for determining the functioning or flow line of piping system so we are interested to find the invert level of the tunnel okay so the invert level of the tunnel is at this point so this is the invert level and if we see it can be computed by subtracting diameter of tunnel freeboard provided and the down surge from the uh, water level at the reservoir so invert level is equal to RL of water level at the reservoir minus Z down surge minus this is the free board as I said we have to provide a free board so taking this as 2 meter so free board minus diameter of the tunnel minus hft that is the frictional head loss in tunnel and substituting all this term we get this value as 466.33 meter and which is the invert level of the tunnel so these are some side images of the surge apps construction so this is the mat foundation provided this is in the construction phase some scaffolding in the construction of surge apps uh, thank you